Very good question. So AMI stands for area median income, right? You know how we look at median household income on Justice Map to figure out how much money people are making. So whatever the median income is for a locality, it's more expansive. So let's just say like in the city of Miami, for example, you'd use the average median income of that place versus the census tract where it's located. So like my neighborhood, for example, as a whole probably has higher median household income compared to if you look at Miami as a whole, because there's, you know, I live in more of an uppity place, right? So when you deal with these, these Section 8 properties as a function of AMI or their average median income, you see on the on the post that you made, 50% of the average median household income means that the maximum that people can make to rent from there is that $24,700. Right? 24, At 60% of average median income, it's 29640 So it's low income. Not not low, low income. Actually, yeah. There's like, there's different categories. I might have to look at the chart. There's like low income. There's very low income, which is even less, like 30%. And then there's very, very low income, which is like 15%. So all of those different categories are, are a bunch of ways to say that these are poorer areas with harder opportunities and the level of income that they make is not enough to support the market rents. So they get subsidized through Section 8, through vouchers and things like that. Now, I'm, I'm looking at this. It says that the 20-year compliance period is ending in 2028. That just means a certain portion of those restricted units. Restricted means that you can only charge them a certain amount of rent before you go over the allowable amount. That portion is going to end.